guys, on this one we've got a Briggs and Stratton Classic 35 lawnmower, uh, which will not start. Just give you a um, close up of the manufacturer here. Trying to start it for a while and then um, it just will not turn over. I've got a spark plug tester which I connected, and the spark is good, but it still won't start. So once I've got rid of this uh, curious cat, I'll um, check the um, fuel. Just a lid off the fuel can here. Look inside the tank, there's little bits inside which I'll have to drain the fuel off and clean them up the best I can. Let's put the cap back on there. So we're going to dismantle this um, carburetor. First starting with the um, air filter. Just take the cover off there. And that's the actual filter there which could do with the um, replacement. the rest of the carburetor assembly, chuck that out of the way and then we need to remove this um, crank uh, assembly let's get that out of the way and then we need to remove the coil and just tuck that over the side here and then we can remove this inlet filter inlet uh, manifold sorry with its seal let's tuck that down there and then we can lift out the once we've undone the, undone the six screws lift out the carburetor which is uh, made of a part of the tank and that's the carburetor there just um, remove the gasket which doesn't look in bad condition And I'll just show you over here. If you look inside here, you can see there's dirt in the bottom of the float uh, chamber. So I'll just put some tissue in there just to soak up the existing fuel and then cover the inlet and then just blow that out, blow the bits of dried up dirt from the bottom of the float chamber, just blow that all out with a air blower. And I'm also going to blow out the carburetor. Any bits of dirt in there will come out. It's going to blow out all the jets from the holes. And I've cleaned the carburetor up a little bit. Plastic one, there it is. Um, just going to reinsert it by um, tucking in the fuel uptake first. That pipe is the fuel uptake pipe. And then what we're going to do now is replace the refit the inlet manifold and there's a couple of seals around that and then we're going to put the crank um, cover back on and then just reassemble the air filter assembly i will have to change this air, fil air filter at some stage And now that is fully assembled, just give it a try. Once I've primed the carburetor, just pump the red button on the side about 10 to 15 times. And I've successfully managed to get it to run. Um, I left it for running for about five minutes or so. Just to make sure it doesn't cut out. It seems to be running fine. So with that, once again, thanks for watching and please subscribe.